the number one barrier to computer science, not just in the United States, but around the world, was that there's just not enough teachers trained in computer science. Part of my work takes me to Korea. When our partners there found out how involved we were in education, they said, hey, you'd be really interested to know that in South Korea, we will make or have made uh, computer science a mandatory class. And so I was really fascinated with that because I was like, well, that's fantastic goal, but how are you actually doing that? Because I know you don't have enough teachers. And so they, and they basically said, well, we develop systems to train teachers. And so that's when I said, well, show me what you got. And we looked at all the different systems and really the best one was this Altino system. You literally, can program the car to autonomously drive itself. And that to me was really exciting because like, wow, students today can learn how to program a car to drive itself, even though those, aren't, those cars are not here yet, but they're coming. The main goal right behind there is to do, have the car move on its own, just using the sensors around it. So it'll sense like the walls and things around it to be able to move on its own without bumping into things. So if I wanted to take my car right, what would I put? I would say steering, well, what would go here? Not two, three, exactly. We've kind of like progressed. Just this morning when I was trying to do the parallel parking thing, it was actually like almost comp competing against myself to see how quickly I could figure it out because it was fun to see where the car can move with different programs I put in. Like all of that autonomous vehicles, autonomous everything is really coming very quickly and we'll see it in the next five to 10 years. But I was like, wow, we can actually start that with students now. You know, our goal is never to duplicate, it's always to complement and hopefully catalyze uh, education to the point where these become movements. So Altino now is slowly becoming its own movement. But eventually that movement is really not an Altino movement. It's a computer science movement. It is a creative problem solving movement enabled by computer science. And so to me, it's not about Altino, it's about this bigger vision and movement that we're trying to make, hopefully it keeps going without us. <laughs>